Hello, it's Lisa. Welcome to Mom Imperfect. I just wanted to do another little update about how it's going on my health journey. So it is beginning of February now and I actually fell off the plan the last week and a half maybe. Uh, yeah, I think the last time I updated on here was like January 24th and I had done, well, I was doing pretty good and then Levi's coming here to make a lot of noise. So even though I fell off the plan, I feel like I've been doing a lot of rethinking the plan. How can I do better on, like how can I make a better plan that will be more successful? Because I did really struggle in January to uh, hit my sugar goals. And I feel like I don't have enough willpower, I guess, to fight the sugar craving. But the main reason I think is because I'm bored and I'm at home all the time and I don't have any like entertainment or like distraction or anything and I'm just sitting at home doing nothing and trying to not think about sugar but thinking about sugar all the time kind of deal which isn't working another thing that happened to me um, as I'm rethinking the whole plan is my friend recommended a book called the glucose revolution by a French scientist who I forget her name Jessie something that I can't pronounce the last name, but I will um, write it here so you can see or put the book there maybe. Basically, yes, it's talking about how you can keep your glucose curve from spiking and how to have glucose level levels that are healthier and that in turn like keeps your insulin levels down. And that is what I need because I have high insulin. I'm insulin resistant. I need to figure out you know, glucose levels and insulin for better health. Above all else, that's my goal. And weight loss, I just feel like is a sign that that's working. I'm rethinking that. There's lots of good tips she has, lots of practical tips. The like, thing I like about her plan is it's like not super extreme. You can just do it like gently implemented into your life, not like bright line eating where you're like changing your whole life. And it's somewhat unrealistic in my mind that I'm gonna give up sugar and flour for the rest of my life and I will never eat anything with sugar and flour. Like that just seems too extreme for me. So I like her tips and tricks about keeping your glucose level. You can go read that book. It's very interesting. It's a very easy to understand. I thought she did a great job of doing it, like dumbing down the science, I guess. Cause like some of the stuff I have read like in the past about insulin and all of that is like beyond me a little bit but this book was very clear and if you're just a simple person like I am it's way easy to understand what she's talking about um but like like three meals a day having veggies eating veggies uh before like eating your food in order so you eat your veggies before your carbs so that it slows down your digestion of carbs which helps you know not spike glucose and then several things like one of them being uh having a tablespoon of vinegar in water that keeps your glucose but like oh my goodness i cannot do that i don't think that's going to be a thing that i'm going to implement in my life because i can't handle <laughs> vinegar water that's hard on to stomach in my opinion so I'm gonna try other things that I feel like I can like do every day. The big thing, exciting news that I think is gonna be a game changer for my health is I started doing Instacart. I just started yesterday. But it's gonna create an opportunity for me to go like walk and get like way more steps in my day. It's also gonna create an opportunity, an opportunity for me to get out of the house and go do something and see people and have like adult interaction in my day and it will also create like a little bit of extra income for us not to be so stressed out about finances and for me to have or our family to have like a little bit of more like fun money just to just enjoy yourselves instead of like just paying bills all the time which kind of it has been like for, since I've been a stay-at-home mother so I think like for my mental health it's gonna be 
so good especially like going into february march where you start to get cabin fever because the winter you know takes so long in saskatchewan to be done <laughs> so yeah i'm excited to do that it's gonna get me out of the house it's gonna get me like my brain thinking about something other than what i can and what i can't eat and what i should be eating and all of that which i feel like is gonna be very helpful and mentally i think it's gonna be good for me too just <laughs> to have something to do because i am i guess i'm just bored most of the time i'm just bored and like sugar is my entertainment and another thing being like on one income and basically you know having to just pay the bills and that's it is like the entertainment that you can afford is basically like food treats and I would like to change that culture of our family a little bit so we're going and doing like activities or something for fun instead of just eating for fun which you know with a little bit more money that would be like doable now so that's I guess the update I haven't done yeah my actual like exercise on the has fit app for probably since the 24th of January so like a week and a half probably now I do intend to start doing that again but the thing about like getting out of a routine is it's I don't know like it's it's easy once you get into the routine you do this every day and you keep doing it but then if it, you miss like two three four five days or a week and a half then it's like oh well I just I missed yesterday I missed you know who cares <laughs> kind of thing so I'm gonna have to get back into that routine I'm gonna have to get back into my water routine I'm gonna have to get back into my diet routines now for February but I felt like I needed to change my whole lifestyle right it's a whole this isn't a diet it's a lifestyle what can I change about my whole lifestyle and how my life is to set myself up for success in the diet so I think this is a good plan going forward in February. I also intend to be focusing more on vegetables as well, like three meals a day and try to have vegetables at, you know, lunch and supper, like a big portion. And then breakfast, I also want to be focusing on like savory breakfast, like eggs and like maybe a fruit and a carb kind of thing, but like a nice protein at breakfast um so yeah that's the plan for february that's how my life has been going sometimes i also think after reading that book the glucose revolution i guess i kind of realized i needed to take a step back and to reevaluate my life and to set up routines that were going to work out better instead of just relying on willpower because that wasn't working that doesn't work <laughs> as you know many people have mentioned relying on willpower only gets you you know probably through like two weeks and then you're gonna go fall into your old routines again so so yeah i'm feeling very confident about february i'm gonna like i'm not even gonna tell you how much i weigh right now because i don't know i haven't weighed much in the last couple weeks i would think i weigh like i checked i did a short on like january 31st or something and i weighed like 203 pounds so i have been there i have been stuck there for you know months now i think that i'm like just above hitting 199 and i want to hit 199 but i just can't do it i think February is going to be successful and I'm hoping I can hit 199 by the end of the month with this whole Jurassic lifestyle change. So I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.